Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Haddad and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make leftover salmon, rice, and veggies yummy. Ooh, let's go. Okay, so first I need a little pan, put some olive oil in it. I end up putting too much, you can tell by my face, and my fun bell. Um, so I put too much... But it ended up being fine. Don't mind my dad in the back and whatever Arab soap opera they're watching. So once you have your olive oil in the pan, you get your Brussels sprouts. Um, I just picked out the ones I wanted that were already cut in half since these are leftovers. Um, they're already kind of cooked, but I just wanted them like crispier, with more flavor. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm totally blocking the view with the pan, which defeats the whole purpose. Um, I put way too much oil, so the oil started heating up and hitting me. My mom started yelling at me saying that I was going to burn the house down, so that's why she came in. But then I figured it out, and we were all good after some of her help. Um, I oh got some salt. Couldn't find the pepper anywhere but salt and pepper to taste um so and then you're gonna take some garlic i just used i thought it was gonna be one clove it ended up being a bunch of tiny little cloves and one little paper thing so i just did one since i didn't put that many brussels sprouts but i took a little piece of garlic put it in that thingamajing and squeeze it really really tight it's so difficult but whatever and then I just scraped it off, and then I put it in with the oil and the Brussels sprouts, and then I kind of like pulled up the stuff again to squeeze it to get like the last little bit, you know? I just see my mom do that, so I copied her, and then I just mix it around to get the garlic flavor, make it all yummy. Um, so I think I just keep doing that for, and I'm just adjusting the heat as needed, don't want to burn it, but also want to make sure it actually cooks. Um, here I am checking on the Brussels sprouts again. I think I went looking for something, so I cut the clip because it was way too long. Um, oh, I went looking. I couldn't find red pepper flakes, but I found Domino's red pepper seasoning. So I just went with that. I like a little bit of spice, a little kick with my Brussels sprouts. Um, oh, there's a beautiful view. Obviously, oh, I added some broccoli. Oh, this is where we get to the actual main course. So first you're going to take your leftover rice. You know rice, whenever it's leftover, it gets kind of like hard. It's not as hydrated and you want it to be soft and fluffy. So you get an ice cube and you just put it like literally you just put an ice cube on top. Some people cover it. I just leave it uncovered and I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Um, so... Yeah, I just waited for that, and then I went and checked all my Brussels sprouts again because I was scared to burn them, so I cooked them for longer than you normally do since I had it on lower heat. Um, and just look at me. Cook. I was really proud of myself. I don't cook very often, but I felt like I was killing it. Um, so microwave finished testing out the rice to make sure it's soft. I just... Put that piece of ice in the sink because it's water and then you pick out your salmon i got a pretty big piece because i was really hungry um and then you put it in the microwave again with like on top of the rice um so if there's any like moisture or juices from the salmon it'll seep onto the rice makes it As if it's mashed potatoes, you're literally going to mash up your salmon. Some of y'all may have seen this on TikTok. I forgot the influencer's name, but I definitely stole this from her. I don't have any seaweed, though, to make, like, the sushi roll thing that she does. But this was inspired by her. It's pretty simple. I didn't really want to freeze for my best stuff on the side, so we're going to give it a taste test. It's a little hot. And then, okay. It was so good. Like for a year, it was actually very, really very yummy. Giving my Brussels sprout a try. It was good. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot the balsamic vinegar. That was suggested to me a lot. 
Um, I wasn't really in the mood to try other toppings. Um, but if y'all have any suggestions, let me know. So obviously I just, I poured a, tried to pour a little bit, but I have a heavy hand in most things. So mix it up, try it again. It made it so much more flavorful. If you have any other topping suggestions, let me know in the comments and see you next time.